So this is the Pau Do Diom. <laughs> Pau Diom. Pau Diom. Today we're gonna see how well it works. I usually do not like these things because they're very low quality and I always seem to have problems with them. We're gonna see what this thing is capable of. So there's no screen button. Oh, here we go. So it has a light and there's a cigarette lighter adapter. So let's test the voltage because if this is NMC and not lithium iron phosphate, this needs to be regulated. 13.3 volts, that's great. Maybe this is lithium iron phosphate. Oh, it is lithium iron phosphate, that's nice. Now let's test the inverter. Oh wow, look at that. The on-screen display is horribly inaccurate. We have 550 watts down here and it only shows 130 watts up here. That's a bad sign. Let's try a purely resistive load and see if that changes it. 400 watts, 400 watts, so now it's working. All right, 627 watts. Or better yet, let's try both of these and we'll just pull 500 watts from this. It's actually running the load. It's doing like 20 watts over actually. Nice, uh-oh, let's try that again. All right, we'll do 400. Let's see how long it can last with that. It is a little bit warm, but it's still doing pretty good. We're at 20% state of charge. It says it will only run for eight more minutes, even though this is inaccurate. So yeah, let's see what happens. So at 550, it should turn off. Oh, the time is 545, so it did not make it. It says 0%. Yeah, this state of charge indicator and watt meter is just totally inaccurate. Let's connect some AC power and see what happens. Oh, look at that. 500 watts, that's almost a 1C rate for this size battery. This is a million times better than a Jackery. Isn't a Jackery like 200 watts? Jackery charge speed. I cannot speak, guys. <laughs> my, speak, my speech is getting worse. So Jackery 500, almost the same watt hour capacity as this. It takes seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours. This charges in one hour. And theirs is $500. Let's look up how much this thing costs because it's pretty impressive. Oh, it does cost $50 more, but you do have more capacity and more output and more input. So, and a better chemistry than a Jackery. So this kills the Jackery in pretty much every way. It just has an awful state of charge in a watt meter. They need to make it look cooler like the Bluetti. Bluetti makes a really nice looking solar generator. They could have had nice colors on here, but they chose dark gray with black. It's just so boring. Like, look at this. Marketing done right. Make it bright yellow. Jackery has good marketing, that's for sure. That's why people buy them, I think. Because why would anyone buy a Jackery? I've made so many videos about, about all the downsides. Like, who in their right mind would do that? Let's look up the Bluetti and see the equivalent power station. The Bluetti has one for 479. It has the same capacity as this, but it has an 800 watt output inverter. I would choose that any day. Most of the other stats are the same though, but this one's also lithium iron phosphate. And this does a surge of 1000 watts. That's incredible. And it has a wireless charging pad. Yeah, these guys really need to copy Bluetti because they're doing it right. And it has four AC outlets instead of two. So yeah, this beats it in every regard and it's cheaper. Well, that's a bummer. I don't want to test it anymore if you can buy something that's better for cheaper. Let's just open it up and see what the build quality is like because I do not like the build quality on the outside. It looks very boring and I've never heard of this company before. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Actually, first, let's test the solar input and see how much power this thing can handle. 120 watts? That's nothing. This one does 200 watts. You guys really need to do some more market research and see what other people are doing because you clearly did not. Let's just try it anyways. Does the DC input not work? Did it blow the fuse? I think it blew the fuse in here. Let's cut this apart. It doesn't even come with an adapter for MC4, which is strange. Oh no, it's one of those. The sheath is the negative. We're doing exactly 120 watts. Why don't you guys bump that up to 200 so you're competitive? Or better yet, 220 watts. It shouldn't cost that much more. But it is working as advertised, so that's good. We haven't tested these smaller units in a while, but I can see why people are buying the Bluetti still. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Technically, there's high voltage, so we need to turn this off. Do not want to do this at home. This BMS is tiny. Holy cow. 
Here's the bank of FETs, the bleed off resistors for the uh, balance function, little control circuit, and it is thin. They should do this on all of them. This is actually really nice. Oh, these cells are hot. Dang, it did not like that test we did. And I can't get it out. I think it's glued in there. There we go. Oh! <laughs> we had a little short circuit. Dang, it caught my desk on fire. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. And these cells are 6,000 milliamp hours at 3.2 volts. So 19.2 watt hours each. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 614 watt hours. Wait a second. Oh, the battery capacity is 614 watt hours. For some reason, I thought it was 700, but that's just the inverter. Holy cow, it smells really bad still. Oh, this is what happened. This thing touched it. That's why I covered this in electrical tape. I can't believe it made it through. Oh well. Overall, not that bad. It's mediocre, but I think there's better options on the market for less money. So I don't think many people are going to buy this, but they did do a good job. It did work. The state of charge indicator and watt meter were just awful, and the build quality looks horrific on the outside. You really need to hire a different designer and make it look better. But it did work. Now, if it had special features or a better price, I would do a full capacity test. But I don't think anyone's going to buy it, so yeah, I just ripped into it. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Quick teardown, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.